Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from Salads and Sandwiches of 1917, we're going to be making the bacon appetizer sandwich. Yep. Okay, first thing we got to do is fry up some bacon, crumble it, add green bell pepper and onion. Now we add a beaten egg. Now we season with salt and pepper. And we put that onto some thin bread. No butter, oddly mentioned. Okay, let's give this bacon appetizer sandwich a go. It's like a Denver omelet sandwich, except for instead of ham, it's bacon. It is delicious, for sure, but I do want to plus it up, and I think you know exactly where I'm going. I'm going to add some of this pepper plant hot sauce. It's got dehydrated jalapenos, uh, dehydrated garlic, dehydrated onions. It's savory. It's got a little bit of heat, but not a ton, and it's going to go really well with everything. Okay, let's give this bacon appetizer sandwich plussed up with the pepper plant California hot sauce. I'll go. Not super spicy, but definitely has a little kick of heat. It has great savoriness from that rehydrated garlic and rehydrated onion. And it goes so well with bacon, eggs, onion, and green bell pepper. All right, so the original uh, bacon appetizer sandwich, clearly that is tasty. I'm going to give that like a seven and a half. That is really quite good. Not a big fan of the thin bread for the filling, though. It seems a little bit off. Plus up with the pepper plant California hot sauce. Man, that is like a nine breakfast sandwich for me. Uh, again, the only thing that's, that's bumming me out is the bread because it's a little too thin to hold everything in very well. But flavor-wise, I love it. <laughs> Definitely going to finish that, and I would make this again in a hot minute. All right, see you tomorrow. Bye.